Hello, this is Nick Kringus with the Tuesday live 2 p.m. webinar, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, called SEO Competitive Analysis. Uh, this week, we're going to be talking about Miami Personal Injury Lawyer, uh, and we'll be going through their on-page factors of the page one listings, and also the off-page factors and the other sites linking into them so that uh, we can see who the players are, uh, if you can beat them if you have a chance at beating them, and lastly, how to do so. So before we get started, uh, again, I'm Nick Kringus, uh, co-founder and president of Apricot Law, Inc., and we specialize in search engine optimization uh, and visibility for personal injury lawyers nationwide. We currently have page one rankings for all types of New York personal injury lawyer um, phrases among dozens of other phrases that we rank our clients for, but the New York ones seem to be the most competitive and the ones that uh, most people like to hear about, so uh, that's why I'm mentioning those. Personal Injury Attorney NY, Personal Injury uh, Lawyer NY, Car Accident Lawyer NY, Wrongful Death Lawyer in New York, uh, all types of personal injury lawyer terms we rank on page one four. Uh, I've been doing this for about four or five years now, full-time, professionally for clients. Just SEO, just ranking on page one of Google before, during, and after all kinds of Google updates. Uh, my partner that you may speak to or meet one day is named Tom Desmond. Uh, he is in charge of client communications, and he does a great job of communicating what we're doing to our clients, uh, and he really wants nothing but the best for our clients. And he's a maniac when it comes to client communications, seems to be talking to our clients uh, a few times a week. So with that being said, let's jump right in. I'm going to share my screen now, and I'll go to this other screen over here. And the first thing that we always do is um, go to Market Samurai, which is a uh, inexpensive piece of software. It's like the uh, the standard software for all internet marketers. It seems like everybody's trying to sell it as an affiliate. I don't use it for a, a lot of things. I use it for the SEO competition module exclusively. And the reason why is because uh, I like the way it sets up all the page one listings for a specific keyword and gives you all the um, a bunch of different metrics that are useful in analyzing how competitive any keyword phrase is. So right now it's generating results as you can see. And it'll come up with the top 10 spots in Google. If we were to search Google right now um, that's what would come up as well. And you'll see here on my on my uh, Firefox browser that I have an SEO Moz toolbar, M-O-Z. Um, let me hide one of them. And the other one's called SEO Book Toolbar. Uh, these give you a bunch of useful information. The first one tells you page rank mostly, the actual Google page rank of any website that you're searching. Uh, SEO Moz tells you the page authority up to 100 and the domain authority. Uh, I think you should know the difference between a page and a domain, but if you don't, you can go to our website, apricotlaw.com. Uh, for, any, for any terms that I might mention today that you don't understand, I'll be adding those to a uh, glossary section of our website. Uh, what, they, what they are is the page is different than the domain because the page is actually the page ranking. Uh, this right here is the home page that's ranking, and it's loading data now, but... Um, sometimes inner pages, a bunch of times inner pages will rank, like this directory here of findlaw.com will have an inner page uh, ranking for Miami. Um, these are um, home pages. Over here are inner pages, but the PA is basically the 
authority, the page authority of that specific page. Um, the reason why I like these metrics is because PageRank, Google PageRank is not updated to the public that often. It might be updated every six months or so. And page authority and domain authority give you a lot better idea of how authoritative any page on the internet is. Okay, so let's go back to Market Samurai and hopefully it's complete. Let's see here. Okay, so the first one is uh, panterlaw.com. And what I like to do is look at, to see how many are actually attorney sites and how many are uh, directories. Uh, Lawyers.com has the second spot, and Fine Laws Directory has the fourth spot. But other than that, it's pretty interesting because um, the rest are attorney websites. Specifically, seven out of the ten are attorney home pages, and only one is an inner page. That is quite interesting because usually Google will rank the pages, the inner pages of a site, um, more so than the than the home page. But since it's for Miami Personal Injury Lawyer, which is a pretty broad term, uh, that's why you have mostly the home pages ranking because those pages are optimized for that term, Miami Personal Injury Lawyer. Now, the only ones that have the title, URL, description, and header uh, with those words, Miami Personal Injury Lawyer, are the directories. The other firms are missing at least one of the on-page factors in ranking for that term. So that's an opening for you right there. Panther Law has it in the title, but not the URL, obviously, because it's pantherlaw.com. Not in the description, and it has it in, the, in H1 or H2 tags on the page. So most of these are really old sites. The only one that's really new and not doesn't really belong is this one here. It just looks like a sore thumb. And reason being um, is because it's a, a one-year-old site, a page rank of one. CF and TF are, are um, proprietary metrics of Majestic SEO. And they this one here says measure of a web page's importance similar to Google PageRank from 0 to 100. It, to me, it's not exactly similar to a PageRank. Um, citation flow, to me, means the number of quality links that are pointing into a site over the past um, 90 days. Trust flow is the measure of a web page's authority, trustworthiness, similar to Yahoo's trust rank, scale of 0 to 100. This is also a very good metric because it actually takes um, the pages that are linking in and sees how trustworthy they are and also the traffic coming from those links and sees how um, trustworthy that traffic is. I don't know exactly how they go about this but any number over 20 is pretty high. As you can see here the first one is a really strong website. Um, referring domains is a, an important factor because Sometimes a website will have thousands and thousands of backlinks to a page. And I hope I'm not speaking over your head here, but a backlink is any other page from a, any other website that's linking in and referring to your website as the authority. Um, but one domain can literally have every page of its website linking into your website. So it can have, you can have thousands of links coming from one domain. Um, which is not as not as impressive or as powerful as having a thousand different domains, different websites pointing to you once each. So that's why referring domains is really important. And I'm not going to look at the directories at all. I'm going to only look at the lawyer sites to see how strong they are and to see if if you can rank in these uh, for this term, Miami Personal Injury Lawyer. I'm going to tell you right away that it's going to be pretty easy to rank a YouTube video in my opinion uh, for this term and it's also going to be easy to rank any web 2.0 property that you may have like a AVO listing or a um, super lawyers listing or 
let's say you have a Tumblr page about Miami personal injury law um, or a WordPress.com page because these like these directories here are very authoritative domains so if you put a new page on these authoritative domains uh, those can shoot up to page one right away by the inherited inherited um, authority of the domain so that's one opportunity you have here is to rank a YouTube video or another web 2.0 property because there are none and there should be usually they are there are a few videos and they are easy to rank in general but besides that you have some pretty monstrous uh, domains ranking here so it's in my opinion going to take a, a bit of time at least three four five months to rank up here uh, on the first page and we'll see why Altman law firm is on page one with only 18 backlinks to the entire domain we'll take a look at that in a second um, but the next highest after 18 uh, is 1800 or 1900 different links going into this domain here which is robertrubenstein.com. Um, that's the next strongest, but after that, they're really quite strong. They have anywhere from uh, 6,500 links going to the domain, uh, 11,000, 18,000, 7,000, 7,800. And to the actual page that's ranking, since most of them are, are home pages, they also have a ton of backlinks going to the uh, to that to that specific page because normally the home page is the most powerful um, it's going to be quite difficult to get into this uh, first page apricot law clients could do it we could do it for clients but keep in mind that it will take a f at least a few months to get up here uh, if not more depend if the website's brand new it might take even longer than that so let's go into Google right now and see what we can do uh, to get up on page one if your website is, um, maybe your website is as strong as these but it's not ranking or maybe you've been around for a, a lot longer than a year and you feel like you should be ranking up on page one as well. So then, then it may be just a few minor adjustments that we could do to get you onto this first page of Google. Um, it's really important to look at the actual meta description and meta title which is the title and description that shows up in the Google listing uh, you can program that by having a plugin called WordPress SEO by Yoast Y O A S T on your website and then you can easily um, type in exactly what you want to appear here in Google <coughs> on every page of your website excuse me <coughs> So the first one, Panter Law, you'll see these are ads up here, but PanterLaw.com is the first spot. And it has a page authority of 46, which is quite high. Uh, this means that it has a ton of different powerful backlinks pointing to it usually. But in terms of on-page optimization, Miami Personal Injury Lawyer is the exact match of what they're trying to rank for and that's why they're that's part of the reason why they're number one and you'll also see our Miami personal injury lawyers exactly as it appears exactly as they want to rank right inside the description as well so they have it in the title and the description now if we go down to the next organic listing which is not a directory that's aaronfeld.com and he also has Miami personal injury lawyer right there in the title and also in the description so at the very least you're going to have to have that term in the description of the page you're trying to rank for because everybody else does. Right here he has personal injury and accident lawyers and attorneys in Miami. So it's not exactly the way um, that the search term appears but every word of that phrase appears in the title and the description. This is also very important to note that um, this is a lot more natural looking and um, will get you penalized less often than if you just have Miami personal injury lawyer in the title description and everywhere you can fit it in because Google is quite good right now at figuring out if you're over optimizing for any specific term and then they'll just filter you out of that first page uh, Miami personal injury attorneys they have it exactly as it appears so it, it looks like if you're gonna if you want to play in this market Miami personal injury attorneys or lawyers um, 
as you can see, the word attorneys is substituted for lawyers. And it's interchangeable, so you can use either one, and Google will pick it up. They're smart enough to know that they are synonymous. Um, but if you want to play in this market, you're going to have to have this exact term in the title and in the description, just like every single page on page one has, which is quite miraculous. Normally, um, you don't see every term on page one uh, every listing on page one with the exact match in the title and the description, but that's the case for Miami Personal Injury Lawyer. Uh, a lot of SEO'd websites, I would assume. Um, so we're not going to leave you hanging here if you're if you don't have a, a seasoned website. Uh, I will go into SEM Rush, which is a fantastic tool, and show you what these guys are ranking for. So we can try to pick up some different uh, phrases that we can go after instead or in the meantime while the site's building authority in the background and then so we can rank those quickly and then uh, rank for Miami personal injury lawyer or some other um, competitive term over time so we don't have to wait just for this one term we want to rank for dozens and dozens of different keywords so we can get traffic from every single one of them uh, if we look at the the PA and the DA uh, this one here is really the outlier, the ultimate law firm. And these ones I always like to look at because I want to see why, if there's any reason, because sometimes there's just not a reason um, that the site is on here. It's just Google's way of mixing things up. Okay. So let's take a look here. It's nothing crazy in terms of website. I just want to see. How he has the site interlinked and maybe what things he has on the um, on the site itself and H1 tags and the important on page elements. Areas of practice. So these are all keywords that you want to write down. And if you're in this market, and what I usually like to do is have a notepad document open while I'm um, reviewing these sites. And if you find keywords like this, 18-wheeler uh, and other commercial truck accidents, alcohol-related accidents, bicycle accidents, boat accidents, car accidents, catastrophic personal injury, medical malpractice, motorcycle accidents. When you find keywords like this, you want to put them into the notepad doc. Um, for later so that you can go back and uh, review them in the Google Keyword Planner to see if they in fact get any searches per month and then if they do if you think it's a valuable keyword then you can run this type of uh, competitive analysis on any of these keywords and see what the competition is like for them and usually there are a lot less so let's let's go back to Google for a second and type in bicycle accident lawyer Miami and you'll most likely notice that the page one results for this are usually not as authoritative uh, you do see that Panter, uh, panterlaw.com the one that was number one for the last one Miami personal injury is also ranking for uh, bicycle accident lawyer Miami but the page that's ranking is called auto accidents and they don't have bicycle accident uh, lawyer anywhere in the title or in the description of the site of this page that's ranking. Uh, this one has bike crash attorney. So this one just by mere uh, on-page optimization factors can be taken quite easily. And most of them, as you can see, as we said earlier. Um, are inner pages of websites. They're not like entire domains and they're not home pages that are ranking for this term, which makes sense because mostly someone won't want to rank their entire website uh, for the term Bicycle Accident Lawyer Miami. So what you'd want to do is create an inner page for this term that has the term in the title and in the description. And I think you can rank pretty easily for this type of term. So that's the value of doing this type of research into your competitors to find other keywords that you can go after. 
work-related injury, wrongful death. Traumatic brain injury is a good one because this one is usually not that competitive, but it brings a, a an excellent type of client. So let's look at traumatic brain injury lawyer Miami. And this page is a PA of 21, traumatic brain injury lawyer serving Miami. This person has it in the title of the page and in the description. So that's why he's up there. Altman Law Firm is again ranking for this term. And I have to see why uh, that is so. Because I just, and that's the, not, o not only is he ranking, but he's ranking the homepage of the site for that as well. So it could very well be, and we're going to leave this for the second half of the webinar when we talk about um, backlinks, because it could just be that he has a ton of high-powered backlinks. But if that was the case, then the DA and PA wouldn't be this low. Uh, on the other hand, there's one possibility that the, pr the website is blocking any spiders like SEO Mose and SEO Book from reading the backlinks of the site uh, which is, it's good to block somebody like me from going in and seeing exactly where you're getting your links from. And we do that for a bunch of our sites, not for our client sites usually, but for the sites that we use uh, for links. So that is a possibility. It could be blocking us or blocking the spiders from getting accurate numbers because it just doesn't make sense that a brand new website would be on page one for Miami Personal Injury Lawyer and Dramatic Brain Injury Lawyer and both times it's the home page of the site that's ranking. That just doesn't make any sense. Um, but we'll look into it closer. Uh, let's, let's do that by going to SEM Rush. So it's ultimatelawfirm.com. And see what else, let's see what else he ranks for. This tool is fantastic. It's one of my favorite tools of all time because it shows us what websites are actually ranking in Google for on the first two pages. Let me see if I can get this right. Sometimes the passwords are not kept by my cat password keeper because they pop up in that window. Okay, I just want to see one thing. Normally it'll tell me what the traffic is worth to the website, which I like to see. Here we go. So he had a big spike. I guess. Well, his top month was June 2013, and then he's been going down, down, down. Um, but I don't think this website is as new as it says it is. If you look at, so I guarantee you that they're blocking spiders from seeing the backlink profile of the website uh, because it says here that the search engine traffic would cost $16,000 per month if it was purchased through AdWords and not free with the Google organic search. So it says estimated cost of purchasing, this, purchasing the same number of visitors through ads. So this is a, this is a pretty big number actually. So that means that he's ranking for a bunch of valuable keywords. And you can look down here for the full report in organic keywords. This is just unbelievable. I, I absolutely love this tool. Uh, Ahrefs used to do the same thing. So that tool was called ahrefs.com. It used to do the same thing, but then Google put a stop to uh, any of these tools crawling their results for, uh, for information like this. Um, but this tool somehow got around that and now is able to show you all the keywords that the site ranks for. What's crazy is that this site just dominates for everything Miami, Miami personal injury, um, not a real broad spectrum of terms, but they're ranking for a lot of different terms. I didn't know that this term was such a high CPC. Look at that. 
cost per click is if you're advertising in Google AdWords. New York is even at, is not that high. Miami Personal Injury Lawyer is almost two hundred dollars a click, and he's ranked seventh. And Miami Wrongful Death Lawyer, it's they don't have any cost per click there, but he's ranked number one. Look at the cost per clicks of some of these. Miami Personal Injury Attorneys is two hundred and thirty-two dollars each time somebody clicks on your Google ad. So Miami Personal Injury Attorneys, let me show you something. So if you look here, Miami Personal Injury Attorneys, each time somebody clicks on these ads up here, this one right here is costing this person $230 every time somebody clicks on this ad. And I won't do it because that's just not right. Um, each time people click on these, the ads are costing these people over $200 uh, each and every time somebody does that. And this person in the organic is paying an SEO like Apricot Law to get their um, website at number one for that term. So instead of paying $232 per click, they're probably paying a lot less uh, to an SEO, but it takes longer and it's not guaranteed that you'll get up to the number one spot, which gets most of the rankings. So I just wanted to show you how, how valuable those keywords are. Miami Injury Lawyers is almost $300 a click. I've never seen uh, rates this high, even in, even in New York. I'm not sure why they're so high in Miami. Uh, Miami Injury Lawyers, $295 a click. Unbelievable. So this guy is paying a ton of money for these Google ads, Bernstein and Marianoff.com, just paying an exorbitant amount for that traffic. Um, let's go back here. So these terms, let's look. Sometimes we can find some like really good um, terms that people haven't discovered. And I'll have to to warn you that you're not going to find the best hidden gems of terms inside SEM Rush because they only show you the real valuable ones, the ones that are getting a ton of traffic and a ton of searches every month uh, for the exact match terms. But sometimes you get a good one, like if you're not um, trying to rank for motorcycle accident lawyer in Miami, even though it says the cost per click is zero, uh, you can you can get a, a a good amount of traffic for this of targeted people looking for a motorcycle accident lawyer in Miami. So why wouldn't you go after that term as well, right? Just amazing how many terms have the term Miami in it that he is ranking for. Uh, and it's too bad that we can't see the person's backlinks because that's what I'd really like to see. Because that's why he's ranking over everybody else, not because of the on-page factors. Yeah, so like I said, it's just blocked, like you're not seeing much of anything. Um, the backlinks that you do see are yellowpages.com, carcabin.com. That's all you see. We could go even further, but there's no use because the good backlinks are being blocked. And I don't really know why he's ranking so well, frankly. Let me see. I'm just pulling up something on another page here. Okay. That toolbar is not working at the moment. I usually have this add-on bar at the bottom uh, that tells you how long the site's been around for. Let's go back to my... To my I want to go back to Market Samurai for a second.
I just don't see much of anything going on in this person's ranking for all different types of Miami terms. The one thing you can see that he's doing well is interlinking the site for all the terms that he wants to rank for. This is extremely important these days, is having the link juice that does come into your site be able to flow around via the links and hit all the pages of your site. So that's important. Uh, we'll also look at, let's look at some other blog posts and see So this right here is also something that I've seen that's very, very important, is linking out to other pages, to external uh, authority pages on different sites. So you see this, this is uh, leg.state.fl.us. If you look down here when I hover, it shows you, um, it shows you what it's going to link to. This is a highly authoritative page, and he doesn't even have it opening it up in a different window. It's right in the same window, which I wouldn't suggest because I like to keep the site open. But this is a domain authority of 88 and a PA of 43 and a page rank of 2, this page here. So he's linking out to some real authority type sites. And this has been working fantastic for us as well in New York uh, and something that we need to do more of. Let's see this other external link that he has. This one goes to Forbes.com. And the page rank of this page is a PR6, and the page authority is 91. So he's linking out to some really authoritative and that has shown to be really effective these days. So that's part of it. Let's see. The interlinking on his site is just incredible. I haven't seen so many different interlinks. Um, one of them was to the milliondollaradvocates.com. And it goes to show you that something's going on with his backlinks and there's for sure being blocked because Million Dollar Advocates is sending him a link, but it didn't show up in that backlinks report. Uh, Miami Police Department, this is another one that he... Look, look how many different... In the blog, look how many different authority domains this guy's linking to. He's linked to MiamiDade.gov, the mayor's office. Uh, he links to CBSNews.com, Miami-Police.org uh, Miami slash index.asp, NorthMiamiFL.gov, CityNMB.com, MiamiShoreVillage.com. So he's just linking out to a bunch of different cities and it's working for him. Um, let's, let's move on because that's a good tip. We see that he's interlinking his site excellently and he's also linking out to, uh, to different uh, authority websites as well and it's working really well for him. So that's something that you can do. Um, let's, let's move on to another Miami personal injury lawyer. And we'll also at the same time uh, go over into the backlink section of this webinar. So this is one I want to really look at. Uh, PantherLaw.com. Let's take a look at why this guy is so dominant and also uh, see what terms he's ranking for.
So if you look at this site, it's it's a it's a pretty authoritative website. He has 660, 617 different referring domains pointing into his website, to the entire website, and he has 14,000 backlinks pointing to the website. Trust flow and citation flow very, very high. You can see that the homepage title is Miami Personal Injury Lawyer, Florida Accident Attorney, and FL Negligence Compensation. So he's just like stuffing keywords, but um, he's not being penalized for it because of the backlinks that are coming. It just doesn't matter. Um, next, I want to look at the actual um, anchor text. This is extremely important these days as well. And he has a very good mix of anchor text. Normally, what people make the mistake of doing is they try to rank for different terms like Jacksonville Injury Attorney. So they'll link to their website over and over and over again with that same exact anchor text. Anchor text being the actual text in a link. If you look at this link up here, the anchor text is anchor text. And over here, the anchor text for this link will be backlinks. So his anchor texts are, are spread pretty evenly, but a lot of them are brand names. So if you look at the actual, the second one here is f used 5.15% of the time. He uses the actual URL panterlaw.com. The first one is Panther, Panther, and San Pedro, um, comma, PA. That's used over 6% of the time. That's a really good mix. Uh, anything over 10% would be overdoing it, but as long as you're using a lot of different brand terms, that's what's most important these days anyway. And not overusing the terms that you want to rank for. See, Miami Personal Injury Lawyer, the term that he wants to rank for, is only used 2.35% of the time, which is pretty natural. Um, let's take a look at the actual anchor text of this guy's website and see how many different phrases he has. He has 13 pages of different anchor text uh, being used, 618 different phrases being used to link to his website. Um, so you want to model that, even, no matter what you're doing to get backlinks, you don't want to be using the same exact anchor text each and every time. Even if it's the name of your law firm, you want to switch it up um, and have commas in different places, not have a comma here, for example, not have a period at the end or a period in between P and A. Um, so each time you want to you want to link to your site with different anchor text or at least a different form of that same anchor text. And this is a good example. He has, I mean, in my opinion, some of these are a little over-optimized, like Tampa Personal Injury Attorney and Miami Personal Injury Attorney, because he's using them exactly that way. Let's see if he ranks for Tampa Personal Injury Attorney. He's built a good base of cloud cover, which means that there's so many different anchor texts pointing in that even though he uses that one quite a bit, see, he's not ranking for, uh, for Tampa Personal Injury Lawyer. And that might be a reason why. There might be uh, some other on-page factors as well because I don't know if he has Tampa Personal Injury Attorney on his pages like he does Miami. Um, it seems like Miami is one that he wants to rank for a lot, uh, a lot worse, a lot more. Um, so these are a little bit over optimized in my opinion because you can just switch them up a little bit and put them in different uh, terms or in different order, like personal injury lawyer in Miami, personal injury lawyer Miami, uh, personal injury attorney in Miami, in Miami, Florida. So he used this exact term over and over and over again, 37 different uh, times, which is a little high. But again, since he has over 600 different terms pointing into his site, uh, he gets away with it. I also want to look at his actual on page to see what he's doing well. So for Panther and Panther, he's got the two Panthers. That has nothing to do with SEO, by the way. I'm just uh, just an observation. You can see in the H1 tag right here, Miami Personal Injury Lawyers. How do you know it's an H1 tag? You can right-click on it in Firefox and hit Inspect Elements, and down below it'll tell you if it's uh, in an H1. Over here you'll see H1, H1. That means that it's in between an H1 or a heading tag um, 
so telling Google that it's a very important phrase for the site. And how do you make an H1 tag? Well, if you're using WordPress, you can just highlight the term and click H1 in the formatting. Uh, this is probably the title of the post or the page, and that's why the theme automatically puts the title in an H1 tag on that page, so you don't need to do anything else. Let's see what else he's doing. So a good amount of interlinking. Let's look at the blog and see how he interlinks the site as well. So I'm really into uh, this interlinking topic lately because it works, and not only interlinking, but linking out to authority pages seems to be working extremely well at the moment. Maybe it's something that like people are forgetting to do, something that's overlooked. So Google is, uh, I think Google likes to give credit to things that people are not doing as often or not overdoing. So that being one of them, linking out to external sites, it seems counterintuitive because you don't want to send your visitors out to different websites. Um, so maybe that's why people don't do it as much, but it's working really well in the SEO uh, spectrum. Over here, he has the same term, motorcycle accident linking to two different pages. Certainly not as many. See here, he also links out to the source, miami.cbslocal.com. Um, you can see it down below as I hover right here. So he's linking to an authority page as well. So that seems to be a common theme about of, of the ranking pages that we've looked at today. So this is like a, this is I guess what they do. You see here that this one links to the medical malpractice page and this one links to the blog category medical malpractice and then they link out to an authority site as a source. So if you've learned anything today, don't be afraid to link out to authority websites. In fact, it seems to help people in their SEO results. Let's see what else he has. So let's go to the backlinks now. Well, before we do so, excuse me, let's, um, let's look at what the guy is ranking for, what this website's ranking for, because this is just exciting to me that we're able to get some such data using this tool. Yeah, this is a monster site. I mean, I've seen maybe one one higher in New York, um, but this site is getting over two hundred and forty thousand dollars per month in traffic. So that same traffic would have cost uh, two hundred forty-two thousand five hundred seventy-nine dollars approximately for the last month, uh, which was February, on this graph here, which I just I, I just realized for the first time that this only goes to the month before, not up to the minute, uh, but which is pretty good. $242,579,000 per month uh, with 2,194 uh, different keywords that this person ranks for according to SEMrush. If we look at the entire report, this, this tool is very, very useful because you can also see what the person is uh, advertising for and you can see their ads, what they're paying for those ads. Miami personal injury lawyer is number one. Miami personal injury attorney is number one. Panther, um, just Panther gets 1,600 different searches a month just for the term Panther, and he's ranked number three. I'm not sure if, well, obviously it's a lot easier to rank for the term Panther, but I can't believe that people are searching 1,600 times for that. Uh, personal injury attorney Miami, personal injury lawyer Miami, accident lawyer Miami, Miami medical malpractice lawyer number one. So he's ranked number one for just a ton of sites, a ton of, a ton of keywords. If you want to copy anyone, uh, it would be this guy here. It's going to take a lot to beat him. It's going to take a lot of links. It's going to take a lot of work, meaning you have to build up the site and get a lot of different pages published, um, linking interlinking them to each other and also interlinking them out to authority websites 
and also getting your on-page factors done properly because they are done properly on his, on his website. Uh, number two for Miami Injury Lawyer, $178 a click. Florida Department of Insurance, number nine. That's interesting. Cancel insurance. So a lot of these pages, they may not be as relevant, and you wonder why he's ranking for them. But the reason why is because the domain is so powerful at this point. The domain, which uh, is in the 40s, I believe, or in the high 30s of uh, domain authority, uh, I'm not going to go back and look at it now, but the number was pretty high, so as, as the number of domain authority rises, then you start to rank for all different types of phrases. Uh, it could be a brand new page on the site, and it'll start to rank. And for terms that you never even targeted, uh, your website will start to rank as the domain's authority starts to rise over time. So that's an added benefit of this ongoing SEO campaign to make the domain more and more authoritative. Slip and Fall Lawyer Miami is number one. That's a good one. So this term right here might be one that uh, you can go after. You could do the research and see how competitive it is. But it, does, it only gets 20 searches per month. But frankly, who cares if you can rank for it really, really quickly and you can get some traffic for Slip and floral, Fall Lawyer Miami. Uh, that might bring you in a, a really valuable case and it wasn't that hard to do. How to cancel insurance again, cancel car insurance. Wrongful death lawyer Miami. A lot of cancel car insurance. Florida statute 768.28 gets 170 different um, exact match searches per month. You might want to look that up and see what that's all about because I'm not sure what type of person would be searching that but it might be a, a good client for you searching that and that's a term that might not be as competitive. Well, it's definitely not as competitive. Premises liability. Do you have to have car insurance in Florida? Gets 50 searches per month. So these are all really good terms that you can, uh, well, that you want to look at to see if a good prospect for you would be searching for these terms. And if the answer is yes, then you want to put them into your SEO campaign or your ads campaign. So here it is again, 768.28 Florida Statutes. Slip and Fall Lawyers, just Slip and Fall Lawyers, nationwide, number 16. This, this webinar today made me think that I need to go back and and readdress uh, linking out to different authority websites because now that I'm thinking about it, the one client that we have that's just completely dominating uh, personal injury law in New York, I remember making it a point to link out to really authoritative websites from just about every page. And maybe that's a reason why he's just crushing it. And maybe that's a reason why he's also ranking for terms like uh, accident attorneys nationwide just like this guy is ranking for oh he's ranking for accident attorney so not as high as my our client but uh, I think it has something to do with not only with the links coming in but with linking out to authority pages so it makes me want to go back and revisit that for all of our clients now and see if that's actually the case we'll, we'll put it to the test Negligence, personal injury. What a great tool. So let's look at his backlinks now because this is really um, what moves the needle in SEO are the backlinks and the number and the quality of backlinks. A lot of people might tell you that they can get you high page rank backlinks, which just means that they want to link to you from high, highly authoritative web pages and pass that link juice and that power over to your website. Um, one caveat with that is they may be just talking about authoritative or high PR domains. Um, the real power comes from the page. If the page is a high page rank, um, then that really sends a lot of power over to your website. 
So this here, Miami Personal Injury Attorneys Blog.com. Let's take a look at this. I have a feeling I know what it is. So this is their this is their blog that they seem to maintain pretty often. It's on a different domain. It's a it's an authoritative website, just like their website. A PR3 uh, is this page here, uh, which is the homepage, I guess. Yeah, it's the homepage. And a PA of 34. So this page itself, linking into a bunch of different pages on their website. Let me see. Yeah, pantherlaw.com slash practice area slash practice area descriptions 11.asp. And this one is uh, to another page on this website. So this is their own page, their own little blog network page that is highly authoritative and linking into their website. And it happens to be their most powerful um, link in terms of trust flow and citation flow. And all these links from Miami Personal Injury Attorneys blog that they happen to just build up themselves is passing this link juice over to their main website. YouTube.com, not a very powerful uh, link because it's no follow, but if you're putting out YouTube videos, please put a naked URL, which is just means the URL like this. Um, so put the URL in the description of the YouTube video, please. It's just a good social signal for Google that um, YouTube, which it owns, has links pointing back to your site and lending it trust and authority. Uh, so obviously this person is a fine law client. You can see a bunch of different fine law links. Um, fine law, in my opinion, they're just usually out for themselves because they rank for everything. Their, their um, directory is ranking for a bunch of different terms, thousands of different terms, because all their clients link back to their um, to their directory from a footer link, for example. Let's look down here. See this here, this link that says Find Law? Every one of their sites which they own, the client doesn't own the site, and good luck trying to get it back. It's their site. They own this site, so it's a part of their blog network now, basically linking back to their directory and causing them to rank for thousands and thousands of different uh, terms. As you can see here, they link to their lawyermarketing.com and to their fine law website, which only benefits them, frankly. So th in my opinion, they're benefiting more from these links than, than their clients are actually ranking. That's from what I've seen in research. Uh, not just opinion. And that's what I think, well, that's what I know their strategy is. Uh, South Florida Accident Blog. So this might be their blog as well. So this is just, um, this is their their strategy. Yeah, as you can see, it's the same exact thing as this Miami um, Personal Injury Attorneys Blog, and it's working. So as long as you can keep up and, and create a blog network of such um authority. This one has a page rank 2, this page, and it also has a PA of 33. It's the home page of their blog network site, SouthFloridaAccidentBlog.com. So their strategy is to make these blog network sites and pass the page rank back to their main money site, as we call it. So let's see what else they're doing here. Blog, dead, I don't know, DEA, Bogado, Dade, Florida, I don't know, I don't even have any idea what that says. Um, it's probably, I don't want to say, <laughs> make myself look like a, a fool because I don't know what that says, but it's really stumping me here. If anybody could help me out, let me know, but this is another one, obviously, of their uh, blog network sites. It looks exactly like all the others, nothing that they're trying to hide here. This one's a page rank three and pointing back to their website. Um, so you can easily see how they're getting their their um, their rankings. Blogs.law.harvard.edu. So this is a really authoritative site um, blog link as well from harvard.edu. 
This one, the law.tv, that's probably just the paid advertisement. Let's continue to look here. So as you can see, they just have a ton of these links. There's a hundred of them from Fine Law and a couple of blog network sites that they own. So nothing real extraordinary about that. Let's look at another competitor and see where they're getting their links from. But already on this webinar, you've learned about uh, linking out to external web pages and how important that is. And it seems like the players that are ranking on page one from Miami Personal Injury Lawyers are all doing that. And second of all, you can see that you can create your own blog network of highly authoritative pages and link back to your money site, passing that link juice back to the, uh, the site that you want to rank in Google. Let's look at this one. Aaronfeld.com. I don't want to look at the ones that what they rank for because we're going to get a bunch of the similar, a bunch of similar terms. We'll just instead look at their backlinks because that's what we're focused on right now. So Huffington Post is linking back to ironfeld.com feeds but this one's been deleted so for whatever reason it's fallen off that page not necessarily deleted but fallen off that page uh, drphil drphilshow.com why is he being linked to from Dr. Phil this is awesome So I want to find the link on Dr. Phil. Uh, sp special thanks to Spencer Ehrenfeld. So for whatever reason, he's thanking uh, this attorney in the special thanks section. So I'm not sure for what he might he might have paid for the link or he might have um, contributed something to this talk here uh, about plastic disaster plastic surgery disasters Florida injury lawyer dash blog dot com let's look at this one it's probably the same strategy that um, has where they use their own blogs. Yeah, so this is his blog. Uh, it's a PR3, and it happens to be, it probably links back to his site a bunch of times. Yeah, right here, personal injury lawyer in Miami. He links back to aaronfeld.com. So nothing... Uh, groundbreaking about that strategy but you can see that all the players in Miami happen to be linking back to their own money site from their own blog network but it is a blog network it's actually one that's well kept uh, not just there for the um, for the page rank the way to get around keeping it fresh with content is just to buy a bunch of uh, expiring or domains that are for sale and buy them just for the uh, for the page rank so this one just looks like a paid directory you could probably get in here as well, but it doesn't see. It, it's a pretty authoritative page. It doesn't have actual page rank, but it has a page authority of 47. So it's a pretty authoritative site. Um, but this just to me looks like some site that they bought just for the authority. 
whoever bought this site is linking out to a bunch of different lawyers. And the number of links on this page... So let me explain something to you about link juice, okay? If there was one link on this page, it would be a power link. All the link juice that's contained on this website, think about it as a cup, a plastic cup, and it has a bunch of link juice in it. It's filled to the brim with 47 out of 100, or filled halfway with link juice, let's say. And at the bottom, each one of these represents a hole in the bottom of the cup. And if there was one hole, all of that link juice would be passing through to that one link or that one website. But if there's 200 holes on the bottom, how much do you think that link juice would pass through to any individual site? Not as much. It's obviously distributed a lot more evenly. With that being said, the more links on a site or the more holes in the bottom of that link juice container, uh, the less any one of those individual websites will benefit from that link juice on that page. Does that make sense? So this, having so many links on this page, it doesn't affect positively, it doesn't positively affect the ranking of any one of these sites as much as it would if it was only one link on this page. But that seems like somebody bought that site just to pass the link juice through, in my opinion. Uh, here, ABC News. So this guy is getting a bunch of actual authoritative links from different EDU sites, news sites, Dr. Phil, Justia, a directory, another Dr. Phil. So he's been on Dr. Phil a bunch, I would assume, because I don't think you could just pay for the link on Dr. Phil. Abogado de Lesión, Miami. Maybe this is a Spanish version of his site. Let's see. Yeah, this is a Spanish version of the blog. Uh, it's a PR2, and it's linking back to the money site. So nothing crazy here. He's actually getting like a, a bunch of good links. I thought that the people, I thought that these sites in Miami would be a lot more... Uh, <laughs> more more dirty, for a lack of a better word, and getting uh, different links from different places. But for the most part, they're just using blogs that they own, some directory, some YouTube, and some real authority sites, like news sites, linking into them. So kudos to them for being on the up and up with their backlinks. Um so Lawyers to the Rescue, the Board of Directors. So he's on the Board of Directors of this uh, institution or company or whatever have you, whatever the Lawyers to the Rescue is. And he gets a link back to his website here, uh, South Florida Personal Injury and Medical Malpractice. So nothing crazy. Let's look at the anchor text before we uh, close up this webinar for the day. So Spencer Ahrenfeld. 24 referring domains, but for the most part, he has a bigger distribution of anchor text. Well, also because it's probably more natural, because naturally speaking, people would not link to you with the same anchor text over and over again. They would use different anchor text each and every time um, if it was being done uh, involuntarily or voluntarily on, on the part of the person linking in and they weren't being built by the lawyer, you'd see a spread of anchor text like this. See this? You get halfway down the first page to number 15, and this one's only being linked to his site four times. This is an excellent distribution of anchor text. Somewhere in Spanish, lawyer with experience, that means in Spanish, that's only linking to him two times. So each time he's using a different anchor text, which is best practices for SEO. If you're building links, this is what it should look like. See, the trust flow is very, very low compared to that other site because the authority of the sites linking in are just not as good as uh, panterlaw.com. That's why the trust flow is not as high, even though he has more backlinks going into the site. 
And if you if you look, he only has 157 referring domains, which are more important than the backlinks, and this number is lower than that of pantherlaw.com. Uh, he has, for the title, Miami Personal Injury Lawyer, Coro Gables Medi Medical Malpractice Lawyer. So he has a bunch of keywords stuffed into his ho homepage title, which I don't recommend. Um, just use the one main one, like Miami Personal Injury Lawyer, and then the name of your firm. And then try to rank the homepage for that one term. And every other term you want to rank for, use individual pages to rank for them. But anytime you see a pie graph... Uh, pie chart like this in anchor text means it's just phenomenal because the highest used anchor text is used 2% of the time and it's the name of the firm and a lot of the top ones are only used less than 1% of the time and they have the name of the firm in them so that's just fantastic so to wrap this all up um, we learned about linking out to external authority websites and that being something that's in common uh, with most high-ranking personal injury websites. So you want to do that. You, want, you don't want to keep all that. Um, you don't want to be greedy or, or selfish and try to keep your visitors on your own site by not linking out to authority websites. That doesn't work for SEO and it probably is uh, it, contrary to what people would believe, not as good for conversion either because the web is just becoming a, a place where you uh, disseminate information and give different sources uh, and other websites that may be of interest to your visitor. And Google sees that, and that's why they're giving credit to those sites that do that, that link out to other websites, especially if they're authority websites. Uh, in the same market, in the same area, or the same um, industry as your website. Uh, the next thing we learned is that uh, most of the people in Miami, well, we learned that it's really expensive to buy pay-per-click advertising in Miami um, with the rates of co uh, cost per click rates being in the high hundreds up to over $200 per click. So that's incredible, and probably a main reason why a lot of these people are are hiring pretty good SEO firms, from what it appears, or they're just going out and getting real publicity from news sites like Huffington Post. Uh, and lastly, what they're doing is creating their own blog network and linking back to the money page from that blog network that has a a high page rank. Um, other than that, uh, we learned that I think that you can rank a YouTube video or a Web 2.0 um, site or page on page one for Miami Personal Injury Lawyer. That's my gut feeling that you can jump in here with a YouTube video because there aren't any and there probably should be. Uh, also, you see a bunch of uh, Google authorship profile pictures next to the site so you'll want to have that if you're competing in this market at the very least you want to have the the term and the title and the description because everybody else here does uh, if I was to beat these guys well first of all it would take a couple months just to get just to get the anchor text to a level that these players have it with so many different types of anchor text linking into the website that in itself will take time. It will take a lot of manual labor to do that. Uh, no matter where you're getting the links from, if you're getting a link from a news agency and you want them to link with a specific term, uh, that takes time to know and to keep track of which terms you've used, which ones you want to use, and to get that mix up to hundreds and hundreds of different terms linking in, that's going to take some time. Uh, and then if you have the on-page elements intact, and the anchor text done properly and you're not over optimizing for certain terms and the site is getting pretty big with a lot of index pages then you can beat these guys and drop the hammer with some high page rank backlinks that you could either buy um, or create a, a little blog network of your own of high page rank sites linking back to your site uh, to just surpass these guys but again not an easy market, 
in if you want to play in this market, you're going to have to wait probably a couple months to get up here. Uh, in the meantime, I would suggest going after less competitive terms, like the ones we found out today, like uh, traumatic brain injury, lawyer Miami, or wrongful death, or slip and fall injury attorney, um, things like that. In the meantime, um, while building up the domain authority and then trying to rank the entire domain for this pretty competitive term, Miami personal injury lawyer, that's hundreds of dollars per click. I mean, you can't expect it to be overnight if you're not paying per click, uh, which these people are. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, we do this every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. It's called the uh, competitive anal SEO Competitive Analysis Live Webinar. Uh, this has been Nick Kringis. Until next time, over and out.